Now, ever since the SLK introduced us to the concept of a retractable metal roof, it has gained popularity as being the most affordable Mercedes-Benz sports car that you can buy. And even with the third generation model, this popularity did not change. What we have here today though is an SLK that looks a lot different, a lot more sinister than the car that you have been seeing in the showroom so far. It's got smoked headlamps and tail lamps, the air dams are larger, there are new daytime running LEDs, the grille has a sportier design, the wheels are 18 inches with a black finish and at the back there are not two but four pipes. On the inside is a familiar layout with the SLS inspired aircon vents, a three spoke steering wheel and tons of switches. The difference though is the carbon fibre trim and these uber cool seats. But what really matters is the badge below the gills, V8 AMG, that changes everything. SLK 55 AMG comes with a 5.5 litre naturally aspirated V8 that puts out about 428 PS of power and about 540 Newton meters of torque. With those sort of figures, AMG claims a 0 to 100 sprint time of 4.9 seconds with a limited top back of 250 km an hour. With the lack of launch control though, we could only manage this sprint in 5.4 seconds. Needless to say, the car is quick to gather speed and has very good stability at high speeds. Fast S-shaped bends or tight corners aren't a problem for this car either. The sport suspension features independent struts and a stiffer setup overall means that there is very little body roll through the corners. Complementing this are the torque vectoring brakes, which are selectively applied to the inner wheels while cornering to keep things safe when you are having fun. The SLK55 AMG comes with 14-inch disc brakes up front and 13 inches at the back. The brake bite is precise and the stopping distances are short. Dropping from 100 km an hour to zero took only 38.6 meters and 2.7 seconds on our test car. Now apart from green tech like a start-stop system and brake energy regeneration, the SLK features cylinder deactivation technology as well. To bump up fuel economy, cylinders 2, 3, 5 and 8 are shut off when you are cruising between 800 to 3600 rpm in the controlled efficiency mode. Even with just 4 cylinders firing, the engine produces 230 Nm of torque. Step on the gas and the V8 soundtrack resumes. Time to sum it up then. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the AMG badge changes everything and that also includes the price tag. This car comes in at about 1.27 crore ex showroom. Now it's got a great engine, it's got very good dynamics, a lot of power, but that price tag that is clearly treading into the supercar territory and that could work against the SLK55 AMG. But then again, it sounds like this.